Okay, so I have to do one really odd story that out of the, well, the state of Florida, where pretty much everything odd does really, truly happen. But out of Lakeland, this is about a student who's 15 years old, rides the bus to school every day, except on this one day, either, you know, his mom and dad, you know, fed him like franks and beans, or maybe he had some spinach or some broccoli or something. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was causing him to pass gas. Not once, not twice, but many times. Enough so that, well, students on the bus were having a hard time breathing. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I mean, this is like according to the report. It was like reported all over the Tampa Bay News. So you can pretty much know that not a whole lot happens but passing gas down here. But when it makes the news, it's big. Because this kid actually got kicked out of school for passing gas. Yeah, he's an 8th grader. He was suspended from riding the bus for three days after accused of passing gas. The bus driver wrote on a misbehavior form that the 15-year-old teen passed gas on the bus. And he made, well, he's making the other kids laugh. But he created the stench so bad that it was difficult to breathe. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> difficult to breathe? I mean, it must have been, like, completely obnoxious. And unless this guy was like, well... Doing like what I hear on my iFart application on my iPhone. Maybe it sounded like this. Or this. Or, or maybe this. Now, it couldn't have been as long as this. <laughs> oh, man. Well, here's the thing. Why is it that Florida is having these problems? So you have this kid on the bus. Just about a month or two ago, there was a 13-year-old that got suspended for passing gas in class. And from all reports, it sounded something like this. <laughs> Only in the state of Florida. And other headlines from the Odd Planet. Here's one that's kind of it's kind of cool. It's another one of those moments where somebody off camera said something during a, a speech and, well, got caught. And it happened on CNBC. This was when President Obama was having one of his town hall meetings recently. And after one of his comments, you can hear someone in the studio, now it's either a girl or a guy, we're not really sure, say something about what Obama just said. Take a look at this. But it's a matter of making the investment in infrastructure and uh, also then training the workers uh, to be able to get those jobs. And that's what, where we're going to be focused on. That's where the job growth is going to occur. One last point I want to make, and I know I'm not supposed to talk this long, but... Um, Bill Griffith here and the rest of the Power Lunch gang stepping in for just a moment here as we uh, continue our coverage of the virtual town hall. There you go. Oh, yeah. Should we, you want to do it again? Here you go. Let's look at it again. But... Um, Better yet, you know what? Let's look at it over here. Talk this long, but uh, How about, uh, talk over this here. long, but um, or maybe better yet, just talk right this long, here. Um, Unbelievable. <laughs> see, that's what happens, though. You know, and those of us in the industry know: don't see anything with a live mic that you don't want to have happen on the air, because it happens quite a lot. 